Hello everyone, I am Iman Bhatt and I am a consultant at Encryption Consulting. In this video, I will be talking about Windows Hello for Business. We will be looking at various requirements and plan for Windows Hello. Then we will see how Windows Hello differs from Windows Hello for Business. We will also see various authentication methods and biometric sign-in methods available. Deploying Windows Hello for Business involves several key aspects including configuring authentication methods, integrating with organizational identity systems and ensuring compatibility with the required hardware and software components. It's important for organizations to evaluate deployment options based on their identity infrastructure. Cloud deployment model is for organizations with a fully cloud-based identity. Hybrid deployment model is suitable for organizations with cloud and on-premises resources. The on-premises deployment model is suitable for organizations using only on-premises applications integrated with Active Directory. Integration with Active Directory requires evaluation of trust types and authentication methods. Key trust type uses a device-bound key for authentication, the certificate trust type issues certificates to end users for authentication and the Cloud Kerberos trust type uses Microsoft Endra Kerberos for authentication. We can use different authentication types. For cloud authentication, we have password hash synchronization or pass-through authentication. For federated authentication, Active Directory Federation Service ADFS is available. Cloud Kerberos trust type doesn't require a PKI, but the key and certificate trust type require PKI. This could also be a factor to consider while planning the deployment. Devices with cloud and hybrid deployments use Microsoft Entra ID for registration, while in case of on-premises deployment, Active Directory Federation Services is used. Organizations have the flexibility to set up Windows Hello for Business using either Group Policy, GPO, or Configuration Service Provider, CSP. GPO is traditionally associated with on-premises Active Directory environments, while CSP is often used in modern, cloud-based or mobile device management scenarios. Now operating system requirements. Windows 10 or 11 22H2 or later is required for Cloud Kerberos trust type. Windows Server 2016 or later is required for domain controllers. Now let's talk about the differences between Windows Hello and Windows Hello for Business. Windows Hello and Windows Hello for Business cater to distinct target audiences. While Windows Hello is designed for consumer use, Windows Hello for Business is specifically tailored for enterprise environments. In terms of authentication, Windows Hello employs consumer-grade biometrics like fingerprint scanning and pins, providing a user-friendly approach. On the other hand, Windows Hello for Business focuses on enterprise-grade multi-factor authentication, supporting smart cards and facilitating certificate-based authentication, thereby enhancing security measures. In the realm of identity management, Windows Hello operates on a device-centric model, while Windows Hello for Business seamlessly integrates with enterprise identity systems. Security features also differ, with Windows Hello offering consumer level security and Windows Hello for Business enhancing security measures through features like anti-spoofing, key-based protection, and identity and access management. This differentiation ensures that each variant aligns with the distinct needs and security requirements of its intended user base. Now, let's look at different authentication methods available for Windows Hello. The authentication procedure of Windows Hello involves a two-step verification process during enrollment. The provisioning process establishes a trusted relationship creating a cryptographic key pair tied to the device's TPM for security. This key pair, protected by a pin or biometric gesture, generates an authentication token for accessing resources and services. Different authentication IDs can be used the Microsoft 365 account is used for authentication within the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. The Microsoft Entra ID functions as a primary authentication identifier in the Windows Hello system. Lastly, Fido version 2.0 
offers support for passwordless authentication contributing to enhanced security measures. Multi-factor authentication enhances security by adding an extra layer of protection beyond just a password. Even if one factor is compromised, the additional factors provide an added barrier making unauthorized access more difficult. Various types of MFA methods can be used such as mobile app notifications, mobile app verification code, FIDO2 security key, text messages, etc. Biometric authentication enhances security by using characteristics that are difficult to replicate or forge. It provides a convenient and often faster method for individuals to prove their identity while reducing the reliance on easily forgettable passwords. Now, let's delve deeper into the biometric sign-in methods. First, facial recognition. This method verifies identity based on facial features and measurements using infrared cameras. The utilization of IR cameras enhances the robustness of facial recognition systems by allowing them to distinguish between genuine facial features and artificial replicas such as photographs or masks. Fingerprint recognition. Fingerprint biometrics involves capturing and analyzing the unique patterns of ridges and valleys on a person's fingertip. Fingerprint scanners can be used standalone or seamlessly embedded into the device's hardware for user authentication and security purposes. Iris recognition. Iris biometrics involves capturing and analyzing the unique patterns in the colored part of the eye, iris. Iris scanners are incorporated into specialized devices like HoloLens 2. With a focus on enhanced security, anti-spoofing measures, and key-based protection, Windows Hello for Business provides a convenient and reliable method for user authentication, seamlessly integrating with organizational identity systems. I hope you liked the video. For any queries and more of such content, you can contact us at info at or visit www.encryptionconsulting.com. Thank you. Thank you.